Hey guys, so I wanted to do a currently inked uh, because I kind of started doing it more recently and I thought I would share with you guys um, and yeah, I thought it would be kind of fun. I do want to let you guys know this may be, I don't know how long of a video this will be, but I do have 17 pens currently inked. Am I proud of the amount that is currently inked? No, no I'm not. I do think that 17 pens is a lot. I'm trying to downsize for the future, but there are just a couple of pens that it doesn't make sense for me to clear. So once I do use up at least the majority of the ink, I will clear them out. But yeah, so let's, uh, let me just label this really quickly. Uh, currently inked. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. All right. So let's begin. Let's just get right into it. I may have to reference the names of my pens. I specifically put out a section where I wrote down all of the bottle, uh, not the pens, sorry, the inks. Uh, the ones that are my bottled inks, I have them all written out here. And I even made a little post-it note. I have 49 inks, you guys. And that's after I gave my mom like 15 bottles of ink. So... <laughs> And that's not even including my samples. So I'm trying to kind of downsize and uh, go through every ink bottle and use it at least two times so that I end this year so that I can see what I actually like, what I don't, if I want to downsize even more, which I, I do want to see if I can downsize even more. But yeah, let's begin. So I'm going to start with the non-shimmer inks first. Uh, so this is my... Um, uh, Sailor and Yoseka uh, partnership origin pen okay and I have it in a fine nib so I'm gonna be putting that down every ink that I like put down and basically basically what I'm trying to say is at the end I'm gonna zoom in and show everything much closer so especially for like the shimmer inks you guys will be able to see an up close version of it uh, so you can actually see the glitter but yes so one moment um, there we go. I think I'm gonna have to zoom in here for myself. Okay. Or I'll just do the full box. Why not? Okay. I think I overshot it. I did. It's okay. Ah, it's a little hard to see because of the glare of the light at the moment. <laughs> but yes, this one. So this pen and actually the first few inks are probably, or the first few pens are probably gonna be boring because they're all inked up with the same ink. I have like three pens inked up with the same ink. And this is um, the Yoseka Origin pen in a fine nib and the ink is Pilot Iroshizuku. Yamaguri. Yamaguri is one of my favorite inks. And, um, yeah, it's one of my favorite inks to, to use in my, like, Hobonichi weeks. And um, I like to use it in my journal too, but I also like to have color in my journal. So like my base pen, which you'll see right now, that's gonna be my Pilot Custom 823. I do need to refill it, uh, but it's basically almost always, if not, yeah, it's basically always filled with this ink. So, um, and this is also in a fine nib. Uh, I use this one in my journal a lot, and I always have it filled with this ink for uh, those purposes because it just it's it's a really nice ink for like analoging, and I don't like just straight black ink for fountain pens. You know, it's so it's a little boring, and it just it, I don't like the way it looks to my eyes, and I don't want full pages of black ink. Um, so this nice deep brown 
that's not too warm toned, I like a lot. Um, and every time I write with my 823, I always forget like how much I love it. I used this pen basically almost exclusively for almost like a year in my journal and um, I had to put it on a break because the other pens needed some love too, but best believe I'm excited for using this pen again. <laughs> Uh, and it will happen. I've never had an issue with this pen skipping or anything, even though this is a fine nib. And I know people say the medium nib is the buttery smooth one, but for a Japanese fine nib, I would say this is quite smooth. It's got a stiff nib, but it's it's a nice stiff. It, it doesn't even really feel too much like feedback, to be honest with you guys. And then this is... Um, also inked up with Yamaguri. <laughs> so let's just make our little box here and color it in. And this is another pilot pen. I really like pilot pens a lot. Um, I like the way that they write. I would say the this pilot pen, the Grants, I think that's what it's called, right? Yeah, the Pilot Grants. Um, the nib feels like it writes just a little, like a hair smaller than the custom 823, and both of them are fine pen, uh, fine nibs. Um, so here we go, this is a fine. But I think it's also because the nib is actually smaller on this pen. It's much smaller than the the custom 823. So I think that could be why there's a little slight size variation. Oh, Shizuku, Yama, Guri. And I also just realized I forgot to write the nib size of the custom 823, so I'm gonna do that right now. As you can see, they're all the same color. One thing that I'm not as big of a fan of with the Origin pen is that the Yamaguri looks more like a tree bark. Uh, like it's a little lighter. I don't, I, I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, but the in the Sailor Fine nib, it comes out a lot lighter than it does in these Pilot nibs, which are wetter, so they put down more ink. And I'm not the biggest fan of how how this is lighter and this looks more like a brown. I like how this kind of, when it's written, looks like a brown black or like a black brown, but this just looks like a straight brown. Um, and then this one is the Pilot Cavalier or Cavalier. I'm not entirely sure how they want it to be pronounced. But yes, and this one, though it may look the same, is not inked with Pilot um, Yamaguri. This one is in fact inked with uh, Sailor Tea Times Fika. So I had a bottle of it and I was like, this has to get into the rotation because yes, I'm um, uh, yeah. yes, I'm using um, Yamaguri in like three different pens and I use it very often <laughs> but uh, especially because I love it and I use it often I want to give love to this Fika ink as well um, because it is a nice ink and I have it so we should use it <laughs> uh, here we go Fika and I know my little eight scribbly things are not like most people's, but it's okay. I'm not going <laughs> to worry about that too much. Um, yeah. Okay. The day that I'm done with my uh, Pilot Hero Shizuku Yamaguri bottle will be the day that I'm excited and happy. And maybe I would get a little upset, but I'm definitely going to be buying another bottle of it. But I've been specifically trying to finish out a bottle because I was like, let there be an ink that I finished the bottle for. But 
maybe using a Pilot Hero Shizuku ink as the first bottle that I decide to finish was not the smartest move since those are pretty big bottles. <laughs> but I am I'm a little more than halfway through, so I'm excited about that. Okay. Uh, since we're already just doing the Hiroshizukus, we may as well do another Hiroshizuku ink. So one moment, let me draw my little square. Yes, there it is. And I actually, can you see that? Yeah. I actually really like this ink. This is the uh, Pilot Hiroshizuku. Let's see if I can remember the name. I've been practicing it. Hold on, let me see if I can recall. Sui <laughs> Gyoku. Um, yeah, the Sui Gyoku. Let me double check. I have it written out here just in case. This is, yeah, no. Yes, Sui Gyoku. Yes, okay. Uh, and this is the Twisby... Diamond 580, diamond, and a fine nib. And I really, really like this ink. Um, I believe this is supposed to be like uh, inspired by jade. And you know what? I've actually seen like a jade bracelet that is this beautiful deep color because yes there's lighter jade and there's also white jade but I've seen jade this color and it's it's very very beautiful and this is like yeah I, did, I really like this color but funnily enough I actually had it in my Lamy 2000 and um I did not enjoy this ink in the Lamy 2000 I don't know. I mean, I think I do know why. Because this ink has some, like, intricate qualities in regards to, like, the color. And I just feel like the Lamy 2000, maybe because it has that tucked nib, it just wasn't doing it for me. Like, it was not, um, it was not... Like, it, it just didn't feel satisfying, you know? I think because the Lamy 2000 looks, like, kind of professional, it's a little bit more simple. So the intricacies of this ink couldn't shine, at least to my eye, coming from such a simple pen. Whereas the Custom 823 is a demonstrator. It's clear, and it's got a nice big nib. And it just feels like the ink has its moment to shine, and because of that, it can shine pretty brightly. But yeah, I, I, I really like this ink coming out of that pen. Definitely not putting it in the Lamy 2000 again. Uh, and then we've got my uh, Sailor and Bungle Box collaboration pen. And this is the twi the Twinkle Milky Way. And I have this inked, since we were talking about the Hiroshi Zuku line, I have this inked with um, Cosmoso. So one moment to draw my box. And I actually had a sample, I had two samples, I think, of Cosmoso. Um, or I just somehow managed to make one sample last a very long time. But I really, really like this ink, and I want to get a full bottle of it. So I am allowing myself, we'll see how I hold up, but I'm allowing myself to buy three full bottles of ink for uh, this year. And, um, Bungo Box, uh, Twinkle, one second, guys. Milky Way. Yeah, I'm allowing myself to buy one, uh, three full bottles of ink. And if, for example, I finish my Yamaguri and I get a restock, I don't count restocks as a full bottle of ink because I mean more of the lines of new inks. Uh, so I don't have a bottle of of this ink and I want one. So this is one that I'm really thinking of getting. And another ink bottle that I'm thinking of getting is, um, oh, what was it? Was it like the Kyo no Oto? I think that was it or Kyo Oto. 
Akio Ono, something like that, in the Cherry Blossom. Hiroshizu, cool. But yeah, in the Cherry Blossom. Akasumosu. Because that one is very, very pretty, but I don't need it right now. As long as it's not a limited edition, I'm not worried about getting it now. I do really want the uh, Cosmoso, and I want... Um, I'm thinking of getting the Sailor um, Shikiori Duyu, so that I can use it in, like, this pen, and it can come out a darker brown than this. I literally only want it so that this would be darker. Um... But yes, okay, next pen in the list, we've got, actually, let's just do the Lamy 2000. So this is my Lamy 2000, and I actually have it inked up with um, Mont Blanc Amethyst Purple, and I really like this ink in this pen, and it could be a specific bias because when I first got this pen, I didn't have many inks. It was one of my first three pens. And um, because I didn't have many inks, I inked this one up with the amethyst purple, which I did have. And I absolutely loved it. And then I got more inks and more pens, and so I didn't use the amethyst purple for a very long time. But um, after I cleared out the... Soigyoku from this pen, I was like, you know, let me try the... Because I was just having a little bit of a hard time with my Lamy 2000 finding a pen. I mean, finding an ink that um, I felt fit the pen so that I can actually enjoy the pen, you know? Like, I was trying to decide if I didn't like the pen or I just didn't like the ink and the pen combo. And it seems like it was actually just me not liking the pen and ink combos. And um, I remembered that I like the amethyst purple in here, and I still do. It kind of makes me think of like blueberry jam, like a stain from blueberry jam. But yeah, okay. The next ink we've got is, um, hmm, let me see. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I forgot to write the size. Seven, and then we've got two, four, six, seven. All right, so you know what? I may actually get into the shimmer inks now and then do the final three um, regular inks at the end. So I'm going to do that now. Okay. So this, this ink I did not realize was a glitter ink. Um, so yeah, I've got my uh, Twisby Eco in Jade and the ink is the Vinta, um, Oh, what was it called? One second. Vinta uh, Mermaid Green Sirena. And I did, again, like I didn't realize it was a glitter ink because I couldn't see the glitter <laughs> in the sample bottle. And um, yeah. So there's like tiny traces of glitter in this ink because I didn't shake the bottle when I dipped the pen in. And something that I've noticed is, um, honestly, sometimes when you get an ink sample, they don't always have, um, and it's like a glitter ink, sometimes they don't get too much glitter in the actual sample, like it happens sometimes, you know? And this is a broad nib, which is, I think the only broad nib that I've got um, in the lineup so far. Let me just check. Okay, and the ink is Vinta. Ooh, what did I say? Green Mermaid Sirena? Hmm. 
Mermaid green. Sit on the, okay. I have it in a broad nib because um, it's a pretty light ink and I didn't want to worry about not being able to read it. <laughs> but yeah, so that's that ink. Next up we have um, Diamine Moon Dust. So I'm just gonna shake up the glitter. Okay. And this is my Twisby Eco in the Smoke and Rose Gold. Oop. Are we having a hot stop? I haven't used this one in a minute after filling it up. Come on now. Do we need to shake you further? Okay, don't try this at home, kids. Otherwise, you may accidentally get ink splatter. Okay. Let's see. No. Oh, my. It's a little clogged up. Oh, that's unfortunate. I mean, I know I just have to... Hold on. I'm going to cap it. I don't want to take the risk. Okay. That should do the trick. <laughs> Let's see. No, okay. I'm gonna prime the pen really quick. Right, well, that's not gonna be perfectly in the square, but that's okay. Um, that was a pretty wet droplet, I will say. So this is going to be an over-exaggerated <laughs> uh, version, but it's okay, I guess. All right, and this is the... Oh, wow. It For a medium nib, it's having a bit of a hard time. Um, I guess it got a little clogged up. Just be eco... Uh, Smoke. Uh, I just, I know that it just probably needs to, I need to, if I drop like one more drop, it will probably really help, but I don't want to waste the ink and uh, risk the chance of bleeding through on the paper. And this is a medium nib. It's interesting, I wasn't having any issues with this, but I guess maybe some of the water could have evapor <coughs> excuse me, evaporated. Um, yes, this is diamine. The ink itself is very pretty, but I have had it in here for a few months. Um, moon dust. I'm just so surprised that... Um, it hard stopped and it's still super dry. Wow. I have to figure this out. Okay. Normally it writes fine, so I don't know what happened, but I think that I probably can resolve this without having to clear the pen. But usually it's a very beautiful ink. Okay. The next pen and ink combo this is the Pelican M600 uh, in the, oh, what is it? Pelican Sovran M600 in the Vibrant Orange. And <coughs> the ink that I have in here, oh man, it's a tongue twister. So give me a moment. Let me just create the box and then we'll, we'll take it from there. Um, oh yes, I love this ink so much. The glitter just comes out so generously for this ink. This is the uh, Pelican. Oh no, this is also a broad nib, so I have two broads. Uh, Pelican M600. 
vibrant orange. And a broad nib. And the ink is wearing gold. Mm. The great sage heavens equal. And you guys, it has taken me repeating this name and like trying to write it out and forgetting it multiple times to actually remember the name of this ink because it's just so long. Uh, but it is a gorgeous ink. You can see the glitter in every, like, every stroke of the pen, I guess you could say. And the next pen and ink combo, it's going to be another Tisby Eco. Most of the glitter inks, if not all, I put in my Tisby Ecos because they're easy to clean. It's only, this is the first time I'm using my Pelican with a glitter ink. Um, and that's because I realized that pelicans are pretty easy to take the nib and stuff apart and out. Um, so yeah, so I tried it out and I love it. <coughs> I haven't had any issues with it clogging the feed or anything so far. Um, and yes, so this is the Twisby Eco and the name of the color. It's cerulean. I could have spelled that wrong, but that's okay. Uh, and it's a medium nib. And this is wearing gold. Anki. And I really like this ink a lot it is a beautiful ink and it makes me think of a frozen lake that like the sun has just started to melt slightly and you can see like the lake has a little it's frozen but the the frozen part the ice is a little like you could see it's starting to melt just a teeny teeny tiny bit right and the sunlight is reflecting over that like water and ice that's what this ink makes me think of, the sunlight that reflects over a frozen lake that's starting to very slowly thaw a little bit. I know that's a very specific example, but every time I see this ink, it makes me think of that. And it is also the reason that I love it. And it is also the reason that I have it inked up in two pens. So this is also filled with uh, Wearing Gold's Anki ink. This is a Twisby Eco with a 1.1 stub nib. I like the ink so much that I wanted to have it in two pens. <laughs> um, yeah, so Twisby Eco uh, White Rose Gold One Point One. And like I said, you guys will see the shimmer close-up um, once I bring the camera closer to the book. Okay. And then we've got... This is uh, Dominant Industries uh, Sunset. And it's part of the Pearl series. Okay. Yeah, this is also a really pretty um, ink and it writes pretty wet uh, at least. I have to be honest, I just inked it up today. <clears throat> so this is my first time using it in a fountain pen. Ooh, shaky camera. My first time using it in a fountain pen. Um, 
but so far it writes very wet. Um, this is a medium nib, and then this is dominant industry pearl sunset. Okay, oh, the little figure eights that aren't figure eights. And then our final glitter ink is going to be uh, Ferris Wheel Press Sparkling Champagne. And I basically always have this uh, Twisby Mini filled up with this ink because I use this uh, in my planner, in my Hobonichi Weeks, as an accent color. And normally I really love this ink and I and it writes really, really well, but for some reason I refilled it recently and I've been having a little bit of uh, trouble with it, just a little bit, so I don't know if maybe I didn't clean out the glitter. I mean, it sat in this pen for a whole year, and it was it wrote completely fine, and then I cleaned out the pen and refilled it, and now it is the way that it is, so hopefully it'll become... The way that it was before and this is a medium nib too and the ink is <coughs> ferris wheel yeah it's coming out so much lighter press this is an ink that could use some, like, I don't want to regret putting a whole drop of it here, but I'm going to do it. Ah. Or maybe I won't. Maybe that's enough to, like, wet the nib. Okay. Ferris wheel press. Sparkling, yeah, that helped. Sparkling. Champagne. I have to say champagne like that in order to remember how to spell it. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, and then we have three more inks. So... Or three more pens, I should say. This is the um, Sailor Shikiori Fairy Tale Grateful Crane pen, which I really like. And it's inked up with the Pelican Eidelstein um, Appetite. Which is a really nice color. And as all Sailor Shikiori pens do, this come in, this is a, a medium fine nib. Shikiori. Uh, fairy tale. Um. Grateful Crane Fine uh. Okay, I may spell this wrong, so let me reference Adel Stein. Okay. <coughs> Uh, 
yeah, like I said before, spelling is not my um, strong suit. Okay. So sometimes I have to reference. And, um, oh man, I wish there was a way that I can, you know what? Forget the 17 pens. Um, this pen is just inked with the standard cartridge that the Koweko pens come with. So it's like the Koweko blue cartridge. And I don't really feel like that's something that is necessary for me to mention because yeah, it's not something, it's not a sample or whatever. I just didn't buy a converter. So I, I was like, let me use up this cartridge and I can fill it up. So I won't include that. And I think I can squeeze this one in here, but this is the um, Koweko uh, iridescent, uh, Koweko Sport <coughs> iridescent pearl pen. And we can squeeze it in here. So before I had this inked up with Sailor Manio Haha, because I thought that they would be a nice combination and they were, it felt like a perfect fit. Um, and now I have it inked up with Koweko Sport. I have it inked up with Sailor Manio Hara Hara. Oh, I don't know how to spell iridescent. Hold on, I think I have it written here. <laughs> I'm not, like I said, spelling is uh, not the strong suit. Okay. I had it inked previously, so I-R-I this sent. Sent. Pearl, and this is a medium nib. Um, with Sailor Save. Manyo Hara Hara. Let's get a little bit of. That works. <laughs> so I basically got all of them in apart from one, which again is just the standard Koiko blue. Um, but yeah, you guys, this is my currently inked. Uh, as you can see, I've got four brown inks, <laughs> which I think is kind of funny. Uh, and then look how beautiful this uh, pink is and the Cosmo, so I like it so much. And I don't know if you guys, I don't know how it comes off on camera. Actually, let me get up and see. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't come through fully for some reason, but yeah, here you can kind of see it's more true to color. And this is almost like a blueberry jam stain or something. Um, and you can see how this uh, Fika is a little different from the Yamaguri. Um, let's see if we can get the glitter coming through here. So you see the, the mermaid Serena? It's very pretty. This one, <laughs> I gotta figure out what's going on. And here, oh, let me see if I can readjust the lighting. One second, you guys. Yeah, the you can see how much glitter is coming through in this ink, but this is actually a very beautiful ink. And you guys see how this looks? It looks like ice with sunlight on it, doesn't it? It's so beautiful. And a whole page of writing in this ink just looks gorgeous. Then you get a little bit of the pink and gold glitter in the, the sunset by the dominant industry. As far as the Ferrisville Press, in sparkling champagne it's also very pretty um, and then yeah the the appetite I really like this ink
and you can kind of see how this one is lighter brown than these two and then this one is a lot darker yeah all right you guys that is my um my currently inked thank you for tuning in and I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you actually have any of these inks or have you guys ever tried a wearing gold ink before? Have you tried Dominant Industries uh, Pearl Series inks before? Like, do you have a similar experience with them being wet? Do you guys have fountain pens that you specifically use with glitter inks or shading inks apart from like Twisbees? Cause I know Twisbees are great for that. Like, do you guys have any other recommendations of pens to use? with those kinds of inks, let me know. Uh, but for now, thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.